Hello friends, welcome back to more, 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 more Chalice Dungeon expansion paintings. Last week we did the bloody lady herself, the Thumerian Queen, and this time we're going to venture into doing some more of the scary ladies from the expansion. It'll be the Bell Ringers. So to start off, we're doing what we always do, clean water, dirty water, kitchen roll, wet palette, get it soaked up, get the sheet stuck on, iron out those kinks and wrinkles, and we can begin painting. We are near approaching the end of these expansions. Can you believe it? I've gone through so many already. But today, let's focus on the bell ringer and we'll get her primed with some black, ready to do some zenithal highlighting. To do so, I'm popping down a mat that I don't care if I get paint on it. I'm grabbing my airbrush and I'm grabbing some thinner and I'm grabbing some cleaner. And from here, I'll pop some thinner into the airbrush first, pop in some Liquitex white ink, which is my favorite thing to do zenithal highlighting with, give it a blow back so it's all mixed up, give it a test on some paper, and then we can stick our model on a little makeshift handle and start highlighting. From a top-down angle, as always with zenithal highlighting, generating that nice light source from above, making sure it's stronger towards the top, falling off towards the bottom, so we're keeping the undersides nice and dark and the outer sides nice and bright. Perfect for using contrast paints on top of. So from there, with this nicely highlighted lady, we're gonna pop on some shyish purple, which is a really nice royal purple color for the cloak. Now, their cloaks aren't as vibrant as this, but again, you know, like I mentioned in previous videos, I do like to make the miniatures a bit more colorful than you see, because if I painted them all in Dark Souls and Bloodborne colors, they'd all be pretty monochrome, dull, dark looking models. So, Shyish Purple is a nice sort of vibrant yet dark purple to start with, and then we can start adding different colors in later to sort of like bring that vibrancy down, yet still keeping some of the color within. With the robes done, I'm gonna pop on some Rakarth flesh, which is a nice sort of like washed out fleshy kind of tone, and just tickle that onto both her little hands that you can see, and onto her little ghoulish face. With the skin done, I'm gonna move on and pop some Iron Warriors onto her little bell that she likes to ring, and also onto the knife that she's holding in the other hand. Then from there, we're gonna add some different colors to the cloak. Starting off with some Nagaroth Knight, which is a really smooth kind of purple color. And then basically just smooth out all of these areas where the contrast paint has kind of pulled a bit and sort of like looks a little bit like stodgy and things. Using a layer of paint over the top of that will smooth it out and make it look nice and silky. I'm basically just gonna use it on all the mid-tones and start blending in some Corax White into the purple just to start giving us some highlight tones, targeting all the sort of like upper regions, outer regions of all the wrinkles in the clothes. Also the upper parts of the hood as well and just slowly start adding more and more Corax White into the mix so we start getting a real nice obvious contrast between the darkest Shyish Purple contrast paint to the brightest Corax White Nagaroth Knight mix. Sorry. Then I'm gonna pop some more cast bone as a sort of like ropey color that can go around the little strings around her sort of like shoulder line. And then I'm also gonna use it as kind of like a sort of hem stitching, I think that's what it's called, when it's like the little stitching around the edges of the cloth. Anyway, the sort of like edges of the cloth, I'm just gonna pop some more cast bone on those as well, just to kind of break up that monotony of the purples. Then I'm gonna mix some Corax White into the Rakarth Flesh to give us some highlights onto the face and the hands. And there, it's a pretty simple one to do, pretty easy. I just sort of like spent my time focusing on the cloak so that the cloak looks a bit more interesting. But yeah, it's quite a simple one to do, pretty easy. As long as you keep the blending right, then keep moving up through the colors, it's pretty simple to do. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. That's another one of the Bloodborne Chalice Dungeon videos done. We only have a few more, can you believe it? I think we've only got three left. But yeah, thank you again for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, please drop it a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already, leave me a comment if you feel so inclined, and thank you again to all my patrons who constantly support the channel. You guys are fantastic. If you want to join this really lovely gang, head on over to my Patreon. I'll leave the link in the description. But if not, that's cool. I appreciate you joining me today for this video, and I'll see you next time for some more Chalice Dungeon Excavations. Bye bye